Hey guys, Mr. B here. Just gonna do a little how to or how I do compost tea. This is a mixture that I use to uh, either use as a spray foliar for under the leaves and on the stems of my plants. And I also use it as a drench just to pour on the plants at the roots also. It's a great way of uh, increasing the uh, microbial content and the uh, bacterial content of uh, your soil to just help healthen the soil, help create uh, more worms to come in there and uh, feed off the bacteria and uh, create their own castings all around the root systems and uh, the spray itself also works very well on the stems and under the leaves for uh, just it attaches itself to it it'll kind of fill in any little holes or gaps and heal things up and and it'll also help the uh, plant just uh, suck it in uh, directly right there on contact so this is kind of the way that I do mine I've got my bubblers in here got some big ones in there they really uh, pump out a lot of bubbles in there so I get those down in there I spread them out to either side you need the aeration in there so this stays aerobic you don't want this mixture to go anaerobic or it'll just uh, stink and the bacteria will die so the way that I use mine I've got a one gallon paint strainer bag here which has a combination of uh, my compost, uh, my worm castings, um, about a hmm, maybe a teaspoon of the maxi crop soluble liquid seaweed, the powdered style, and then also about maybe a, well, probably at least a tablespoon or two of azomite rock powder, and then down here. This is just a mixture of uh, organic blackstrap unsulfured molasses and I just mix it with the water that I took right out of there. Now this stuff, I have city water, so mine is chlorinated, so I actually filled these buckets up the night before uh, to let any chlorine evaporate off of them, but at the same time I came out this morning and uh, I've been running the aeration in here for a good hour and it just helps bubble off that uh, chlorine and get it all out of there. You do not want chlorine in the water that you're trying to uh, make compost tea out of because it's going to counter react to everything you're trying to do. You're trying to multiply and create the microbes and bacteria. The chlorine will just kill them off. So here's pretty much what I do with this. With the aeration going, I'm going to have this guy hanging right over the side here. I'll use this clip to hold it in there. I'm going to pour the sulfur and the reason for the sulfur, the sugars in there, are what the bacteria, the microbes are going to feed off of, uh, otherwise they'll die also. So while they're feeding, they're multiplying in there by the millions, So, and that is the goal of what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to put this down real quick, and I'm going to add those in there, and we're going to see, uh, and I'll come right back and show you because I don't have this on a tripod and I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Um, let me attempt it actually. So I also like the bag right over the aeration so it's constantly kind of loosening it up and getting everything out of here. So let's see if I can do this here. I just have a zip strip holding this thing closed and this is a good, this is gosh this is probably two pounds of material in here. So, I'm going to drop that in there. Oh, maybe while it's floating, I can get this. There we go. Oops. Ah, nice video work there, Mr. B. Okay, cool. So, success. We have that in there. So, that's going to get all up in there. And just this is going to act literally like a tea bag. It's just going to uh, steep in there. And it's going to manipulate out all of those bacteria and microbes and they're just going to be in there uh, multiplying. I'm going to put this uh, molasses in here now. Again, that is necessary. You have to have the food for the bacteria in here. So, kind of depending on temperature, if this was midsummer 
and it was 80, 90, 100 degrees out here, I could do this in the morning and it'd be ready that night. Uh, it's late spring right now. It's first week, second week of April. Hey, come here. Oh, Bobo the garden dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He likes his compost tea. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what I was getting, oh, he's all warm from laying in the sun. Excuse me, buddy. So, temperature. So, right now, it's second week of April. It's It was foggy this morning. It's only going to hit maybe the low 70s today. It's uh, right around noon on Saturday. I'm going to brew this all day today, all night, and pretty much all day tomorrow. I'll come home from church, and I'll be able to dilute this. This, this is a five-gallon bucket. This five-gallon bucket will then make 20 to 25 gallons. I will scoop this out and put it into other buckets equally. If I'm going to make 20 or 25 gallons more, um, that's what it will do. It is a concentrated solution. I mean, I guess you could pour this directly on something, but it, that's not necessary. You can use this to... This will do pretty much my uh, most of my backyard with those 25 gallons. I can either put it into a my sprayer and I'll spray it as a foliar which I don't really have anything right now that I'm going to be spraying it on like that I like doing that on the peppers and the tomatoes and some of my summertime stuff um, but I will be using this as a drench on all my plants so guys that is how Mr. B makes his compost tea uh, here's my winter Daphne that thing's been doing pretty good it got some nice blooms on it this year and here's my hydrangea it's starting to pop up some nice buds on it. And boy, see if I can get back far enough. That thing's looking pretty darn good right now. That's going to do good this season. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you want. Hit like. Leave comments. Uh, guys, I hope you guys can utilize these instructions to make your own compost tea to uh, help feed your organic garden this year we've moved completely away from any sort of chemical fertilizers and we're pretty much doing everything not pretty much we are doing everything organically in our garden because you know enough of feeding your family and your body's chemicals there's enough of that going around already so anyway guys uh thanks again mr b